Hi, budget buddies. I am making a wreath of toilet paper rolls. And that's the kind that I did spell a while back. I'm saying toilet royals. It's <laughs> my spelling, and, and so I was used to spell things. The spell, she's taking chances on learning stuff, folks. This is the other budget buddy personnel. There. Hi. <laughs> like you all guys out there, have a great time. And this type of craft you can do for Halloween, Christmas, spring, summer, fall. Any type of season. I hope everybody's having a great time out there right now with this beautiful weather. Yeah. And as you can see, folks, it doesn't take long for the hot glue to try. So. Just going to give you more cord there. It does not take long for any of this glue to dry. We're trying to get out as much as we can, folks. But with this COVID, until we get the okay to be off a of lockdown, yes, we can go for walks, which we do. Yeah. What are you using the painter's tape for? Maybe to help the glue out. You could always ask me. I'll give you a hand with the tape. You're also busy holding the camera, too. I can do both. So we are trying to get out folks, but like I said, anyway, another idea we're going to show you tomorrow, just so you're aware, we're going to be doing a nice little easy baking item. We're going to do, because we have some leftover Easter chocolate still, and we're going to do some peanut butter cookies, and it's going to be chocolate chip peanut butter cookies and chocolate chips. Now, a good thing about the chocolate chip cookies is if you do it properly folks you can actually make them into an ice cream sandwich if you want it yeah is it gonna be able to do a full circle or no probably not we're just gonna show you how to do at least half. but if you guys know what you're doing it should be a little bit easier right yeah and as you guys can hear in the background that's our little mascot the budget buddy personnel Just use a different one. No, remember who's coming. I know, but I'm just saying for now, then you once you put that one on, you can get that one back up. Okay. It's dried. I think I might as well just do painter's tape with the hot glue in this. help do the trick but you can use hot glue make sure your parents are doing are help, helping you with it are helping you with it and and even cutting the paper painter's tape I have teeth to, to do that <laughs> I'll help her out there, folks. Because you gotta ask your parent to help cut tape or do hot glue. Oh, that's not too big. 
Hand me the scissors right beside you, please. Looks like it's getting a little twisted around. Here, it's not long enough. I made a short one by accident. But that's okay. It can be twisted around a little bit. I don't know if that's too long, but... It's coming along with the circle. Just gonna get, that's too long, Carrie. I got a better one here for you. on the Red Green Show used to say always use duct tape <laughs> I'm an ex-scout I can tell you one thing there folks I know 101 uses I actually have we had a book in Scouts that we got that someone picked up in Ottawa for 101 uses for duct tape and believe it or not we actually used it for forks I don't even want to know how and I can't remember how but it was weird now we don't have a full circle there folks, but if you have a lot of leftover toilet paper rolls, it does work. We're just showing you what we can do. saw this off the internet of how to do a toilet paper roll, roll of a wreath. Now we're just trying this folks. It's not saying it's going to, we're not saying it's going to be perfect, but it's a nice thing to try. Okay. Close enough. It looks like a C. Well, C is for the can-do attitude we all have out there. So what else would you do with this? Well, after you make the wreath, you can decorate it into a Halloween, a Christmas, a Easter, a spring, a fall. Mm-hmm. And then you can paint it, folks, or whatever you would like. A Halloween. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm just going to turn you around here. And I'm going to come over here and have a bend down. So, as you can see, folks, it is a C. She's going to put it on the table, and I'll do a better picture of it afterwards. Lay it down. And you'll see what it looks. So, folks, we're going to end today's episode, and stay tuned for tomorrow's one. But remember the bottle we always live by as we are the Budget Buddies. Budget wise. Budget conscience. Budget healthy and. Budget smart. And remember, like, subscribe, and we'll see you real soon.